Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today I am going to be working on maybe something to go into our autumn journal here. Uh, because, yeah, as you can see, not much has been done um, for that. So I thought maybe not the maybe some way i don't know yeah well I'll, I'll play around with it because right now i don't need to actually check where I, where I want to put it but let's just show you how to do this um i took a paper bag and i'll give you the measurements now of this paper bag and i played around with it a bit so in terms of centimeters, it is uh, 24 uh, by 13. And in inches, how cold is this ruler? It bends. <laughs> uh, nine and a half, nine and a half by five and a quarter almost. Well, yeah, five and a quarter. Yeah. Just a little bit less than five and a quarter, but yeah. So that's what we're looking at and all i did is i took the paper bag and or lunch bag whatever you want to call it and i folded it in half and then after i folded it in half because now that's going to sit on the spine the spine center <laughs> gosh i can't get the word center of it and then i now you normally your paper bags are like that and I just opened out the one flap like that. It looks very untidy, but it's okay. We're going to cover it and we're going to strengthen it. So that's good enough for me. Right, and now I just opened it up. So now it kind of resembles an envelope, if you look at it. So we're going to change this into an envelope. And I did see somewhere. Oh, I, I can't remember. We I saw it, but it wasn't a YouTube video. So for someone's journal but yeah it could have been sweet pea curiosities if i'm not mistaken i can't remember so now what will happen is that when you open this flap that part there is still attached to the flap and so is this part here so on this fold line i am going to cut it down and the reason why i'm going to cut it down is so that we have a big enough pocket for whatever we want to put in to go in. So that's what I'm doing on both sides here. Would you believe this is the second video for this journal that I've formed and I'm reforming? Uh, so it's not the second, it's the second take on this one, but there was another one as well. So I don't know what's wrong with me in this journal. So I just opened it out. So now basically the pocket is opened out. And now what I'm going to do is i am going to cover this paper bag to some degree not a lot just a little and i don't want you to see me prepping all the stuff here so i've got some stuff that i've already prepped and i'm going to use it so all i've done is i've taken a piece of card a big you know a big one like an a4 page and then i just pushed it underneath here and i drew along to get this part here and i kind of did the same for the back as well a big cardboard uh, underneath it in the pattern paper and i did the back okay so it doesn't really matter maybe it does i don't know we'll see uh but here i am just um taking some old page and i am going to now glue that together like this something like that okay and add that to this piece here like this i'm going to do the same on the other side as well so, hope you 
you all are doing well and that you're enjoying your weather and you're enjoying your craft time um, and you are making some delicious journals or whatever you are doing, whether it's a journal, whether you're just making ephemera, it doesn't really matter as long as you're enjoying yourself, right? And that's going to go there, but let's just move it up, move it more to the bottom. Now, bear in mind, it still needs to close, eh? So just keep that in mind. And now, right now, you look at it and it's not aligned. So um, we'll trim it off when it dries to align it better. Right. Okay, so now that we've done that side, I think I'm going to switch to some glue. Um, I'm going to just add some glue over here where there's a possibility of them aligning. Yeah. Like that. Okay, and we'll leave it to dry. And then I'm just going to add this to this part here to strengthen it. But because there's that gap over there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it the glue now. I'm going to run the glue. Sure, this glue is difficult today. Uh, maybe it's not clean properly. Just, I still need to sort out my paper thing. Uh, my bead glue stopper or whatever you want to call it. So I'm, le I'm, I'm leaving that part there now, right? Because I don't want to glue it down. So I'm trying to avoid that part there for the glue. I'm trying to get to the edges here, right, like that. And then, mm, I swear this, this thing really worries me now. When it comes to the end, it misbehaves. There we go. And then I'm going to add this here to it. Like that. As close to the crease as possible, but not close enough that it will cause a problem when we try to fold this and I've just added that now to that okay so now what uh right we'll get to that just now let's now make this a pocket so I'm going to add some glue here and some glue on this side as well oh so as I mentioned I hope you are having fun and crafting and enjoying it so I must apologize uh, um, for not bringing out enough videos uh, at the time because if you are a follower of mine on my YouTube channel uh, you would have noticed that my videos have become sporadic in the sense that I'm not delivering as many videos as I used to and there's a reason for that. Um, I wasn't well for well, quite some time now. But not like seriously sick. So don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> but I suffer, yeah, um, a bit with low energy levels because of my damaged thyroid gland. And my medication was all off. And I didn't realize that until I went to the doctors and took my blood tests when I was had the flu and then yesterday the doctor called me in and well reset my medication to a higher dosage so hopefully uh, that will kick in soon and then I will have more energy levels so I've just cut a card from the kit the autumn song kit um well it wasn't a card it was part of the collage pages and I just added it in there like that Okay, so now this is bugging me a bit. So let's go ahead and trim this down now to make it look neater. You can round the edges as well. Up to you. Whether you would like to do that or not. To me, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe if I don't like it, I'm going to round the edges. But right now, I'm not really particular. Uh, I'm not preferring one over the other. Just now just so that you know we lost our distressed edges there so that's that thing 
Now what you can either do is you can put a you can put a flap here to hold this in place or you can put a, some velcro over there but what i'm going to try first before anything else is i'm going to decorate here hoping that that decoration is going to hold this in place so because uh, if you look at it it should lie flat after all that's how it was designed to lie flat like that okay so there you go i uh, just needed some burnishing now before i decorate okay let's show you the other parts of it so on this side i want to make a uh, pocket but i want a window in it now the easiest way for me to get a window without um you know i only want to cut a window on the first layer not the second layer not the back so the easiest way for me to do that is going to be to turn this paper bag around and I'm going to slip through it and I'm going to explain that to you now so you can see that there's two parts to it there's the front part with a with a fold and then the back part with the fold and the gusset in the middle so I'm only going to slip the front Ooh, that's that sounded dangerous um, I'm only going to slip the front very carefully now this is just to open up this here to make cutting a bit easier and i'm going to stop at that fold there we the paper bag folds in half and at this point in time uh you can use a, a die to be able to cut that hole or the window or you can use a punch but I mean, I have a punch. It doesn't go through where I want it to go. It stops somewhere on there. So that's not ideal for me. Um, then I'm going to do that. But before I do that, to make my life easier, I'm going to first mat it down. And when I draw, I'm going to be able to, instead of trying to match it later on, I'm going to mat it down first. And then I'm going to cut the circle. Got it? right stuff okay yeah <coughs> excuse me um let's just clean this out yeah like that yeah so i just also want to let you know that i am I'm going to not um uh, be able to deliver on my videos next week uh my mom is not well uh, so i'm going to be spending some time with her uh and I'm going to be working as well, you know, my day job. So I don't, and, 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 well, I'm going to be at her place. So, um, I'm not going to have my equipment to video, even though I'd love to, uh, video. So next week, I'll just be working on my Christmas, uh, um, Christmas digital kit in the evenings instead of doing anything else right so um, kind of that's the right side and that's the right side as well so i'm gonna turn it around and put it there like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it gonna fold because i've got it quite close to this edge here which i didn't intend on doing but it uh, it seemed to have just fallen into place like that that's great that's looking good i love it love it and all, all these are from the autumn song digital kit so um i know that it wasn't on special because i went into etsy today and the special had uh, uh what's the word i'm looking expired sure um my vocabulary really is bad hey and then all i did was i uh, i extended the offer I extended the offer till um I think mid August, October, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you were looking for this kit, Autumn Song, and you found that it wasn't on special, it is again at 20% off. And so is my Strawberry Pickings, which was is my latest kit um, on my Etsy. And I must admit, wow, I'm I'm really taken aback by the amount of um, support that kit got. So thank you so very much for that. Now, I'm going to cut in here now. 
and that is one of the reasons why I opened it up so it's going to be easier for me to cut as well um, I'm going to take a small mat remember I opened the top up I'm going to place that mat in there like that something like that right so the bottom layer is in the mat is in between the top and the bottom layer <coughs> and then I'm going to take my cutter and I'm just going to make a cross in here like that now I don't know whether it is scrapbooking with me or not we uh, I think Edith, Edith shows one of the ways she cuts circles I can't remember it's been a long time since I watched that video so I know that she does a very good job if I'm not mistaken and um, on that note I know that um, uh, her daughter Malena Malena also has a channel and I am following their Facebook group and I know that uh, I think it's Edith's husband passed away so from Sunny Creates my condolences go out to you and to the family um, I can only imagine the loss that you are feeling at the moment and I pray that the good Lord provides you all with the comfort and the strength and the courage that you need to be able to get through this lost loss and hold you in the palm of his hands and uh, yeah my prayers are with you uh, on that and I really 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 um, do hope that um, you are all well and that uh, knowing full well that he is in a better place so from me my condolences on that I don't think they watch my videos even <laughs> to be honest but um, you know in the scrap in, in the strong journal community uh, the wonderful thing about this is that when when someone else hurts because it's such a close-knit community you feel it as well and you feel like a family so um, so yeah it's important uh, that you give strength and courage and, and and your warm wishes to those that are struggling whether it is uh, you know someone losing a lost one or whether it is um, someone going through a rough patch or being ill um, I think the prayers are important uh, to you know make them heard your requests unto God because sometimes you know um, I, I firmly believe sometimes people and I'm not talking about this family here because I know that um, they they are firm believers but I'm talking about in general there's some people that are so desolate desperate lost um, uh, sick no energy and um, they don't um, or they don't know they don't they don't know okay and it is our duty to stand in the gap and intercede for them and um, pray and ask God to heal them and comfort them and encourage them and strengthen them uh, from our side because that's the best thing you can do um, for people pray 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 and pray for them um, yeah but uh, this was not meant to be this video was not meant to be uh, going in that direction but I guess um, when the Lord speaks to you you gotta be um, you gotta answer and you got to be what's um, obedient so I was never planning to do that but it I guess I did and yeah if you're wondering 
why because i normally don't do things like that maybe it was impressed upon me that i needed to do that <clears throat> so anyway let's go on <clears throat> so if you are working on this kit over here i hope that some of the things that i'm doing with this kit have in, has inspired you uh, to do to you know take these ideas make them your own and see how it works for you sorry <laughs> so i'm just going to close the door i've got some noise over here oh it is closed just give me a second please okay i'm back there was some noise i uh, didn't want it to come through on the video Yep, so there we are. I'm putting some um, two-sided tape on the uh, acetate, piece of acetate that I took out. And that's for the window, just to add it to the window at the back. And that's the reason why I slipped that, because now all this becomes easier. So, you know, I eyeballed wrong. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't eyeball. Because... Clearly, my eyeballs are not working. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Uh, let's take that. Let's throw that away. Guys, you know, I was so disappointed <laughs> in a way. When Are you kidding me? Guys, are you kidding me? No, it's so flushed down that I can't even feel it. I was like, did I put that on the wrong side? But then, yeah. So, um, I was so disappointed as I was saying that this video, I filmed the whole thing. And then it just, when I went to go and edit it, it was like, where's the video? Couldn't find it. Yo, man. There we go. Let's add it in now, yo. And then we can close it up. Perfect. There we go. It's done. Okay, so now what we're going to do in terms of closing this up. Sure. Someone's driving really fast or riding fast. It sounds like a motorcycle. Right. <clears throat> so firstly, I'm going to close that up where I opened it out. That's the first step. Here. I'm just going to put a small um, line of glue. Me. and then now what I'm going to do is on the gusset I'm going to close it up now so what do I mean when I say the gusset so <clears throat> on both sides you're going to find there's the gusset there I suppose we can remove these now and then the gusset all over here of the paper bag right and uh, and here as well all the way down there right so right to the end there and i'll do the same on this side here as well all the way there so i'm going to close that up now okay with some tape now just like that just like that if this glue decides to um cooperate with me Oh, it's not always my friend. This blue is not always my friend. I can tell you that much. It gives me some heartache and pain. And I'm going to do the same on this side now. Heartache and pain. Heartache and pain. Like that. There you go. Done and dusted. Even though it weeps, I mean, really, this glue is phenomenal when it dries. Uh, it dries quickly. <laughs> yes, this man. Heartache and pain. There we go. Oh, uh, you know, I think it's saying to itself, well, if you find me so difficult to bear with, why are you continuously using me? And 
you know when you're good you're good so i'm talking about the glue now <laughs> uh so yeah can i have that thing like that pocket from the kit and it sticks it's anything sticks onto it got a new one here i got a new one but if i always reach out for the new one what happens to the old ones And now, let's put that down somewhere there, like that. Oh, my word, like that. Guys, it's a bit crooked. Thank you, a bit crooked here too. Let's put that up. It's like getting its revenge. Let's add some, let's add some, some, let, let's help it. There. 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 I can't put one there because I'm I can. I can for now. I can. Because let's go to the back of it now and do the same here. And now we've got a side pocket. That will go there like that. Okay, so let's you see that was my mistake. I didn't do that firstly. I should have done that and I forgot. So let's glue these two down. That and that down. So it makes our life easier. And then this glue is laughing at me and saying, I'll show you. Like that. And like that. And let me just wipe it and like Murphy's law you're not going to find the thing to add it to imagine that so for now let's just add this little pin to it and Murphy's law this pin got glue on it oh come on Oh, let's see. Let's see. I just hope it works. Okay, I'm hoping it will work. I don't know where I left the thing. And now. A three? Oh, there's it, yeah. If I didn't look, I would have definitely put it on the wrong side. Now, now I kept it a little bit away from there. Uh, it's okay because that remember is going to go into the signature on both sides. So I kept it a bit away. So the spacing doesn't look right. But remember that's going into the signature thing. Okay, so now let's turn it around and add it here. And here. I thought we had a fourth one. Oh, maybe the fourth one. Yeah, I removed it. And there. And we leave that now until it drops. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have to take this one out. Because I want to open it now. Right, so we're done with that. Now, let's put this ugly looking pin back there. For now. Just do that for now. Great stuff. So let's do great. I just pulled some stuff out. Uh, this is a pie box. I just made a die cut out of it. Numbers like that. So I 
for these um dies okay and i use them even though i've got a um oh, what's it a silhouette coming here these are great for getting into small pieces of board like if, you know when you do your main die cuts and then you've got all the small pieces left so i buy small dies i can then fit into all those little places we i've got little scraps of cardboard left and i just want to add something to it let's see okay um let's see if i have something over here going to, work. to be honest with you i forgot to take it up so i don't know if i have i'm gonna look I wanted a ruffle, but it seems like, hmm, hmm. Stop acting like a baby, something. Uh, you don't have a ruffle, so make it work with something else. Mm. I wish I did. I'm not gonna create a ruffle on the fly. Let's just use this. There. Oh. I thought I, I honestly thought I had, but obviously not. I have to make I have to make some ruffles, that means. So let's just add this. Now this is material. I found at a thrift store and I love it it is like a mixture of cotton and silk and I just coffee dyed some of it and uh, well I sold some as ruffles and then the others I uh, just coffee dyed it like this but I've got like quite a bit of this material left because I actually went back I liked it so much that I actually went back to the crafts, the thrift store, and I managed to get another lot of it. And you can almost imagine my excitement when I um, when I found out, you know, when I brought the first piece home, and I realized the material, the the, the type of material it was. I was ecstatic because it's not cotton so it works pretty well on your ruffles simply because it is um, oh, like thinner thinner it's, it's, it's like, like kind of like sari silk now over here in South Africa guys sari silk is ridiculously expensive ridiculously expensive so you know you can't afford it at the rate you crop you can't afford sari silk I can't okay remember that I don't really sell my journals and stuff like that I am going to be I probably would like to sell this one um, but oh, where am I going yeah you can't afford it because um, I keep a lot of my journals for my Bible studies not studies oh, that's not true Bible journaling so but yeah, I think I'm, I think I need to start selling now. I think I need to do that. So we're gonna add this. Let's see, something like that. Um, let's see, maybe we should add some this. To it, so it's this. So let's add some of this. Gosh, guys, I, now I'm getting tired. I can't work fast now. My brain is not processing quick enough. It is the all evening here now, so I've done a full day's job, and this is now something I'm doing now quickly. So. Uh, and the first video I filmed was early, 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 early in the morning because my hubby took my kids to school. So I was able to film 
before I started work. So can you? <laughs> I said to my son, <laughs> I said, hey, Trian, um, um, guess what? I filmed this whole video and it didn't take. So I said to him, actually, it's lack of I filmed the video because I didn't film the video. <laughs> but he thought it was funny. So I didn't film this whole video. Probably I'm tired, that's why I'm speaking so much, so please excuse me. I'll try not to now. Look at that thing. Guys, did I just bring something and not bring it? Um, no, uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, did it fall down? Yes, I think. Oh, no, there's it. Now you can see. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, just so that you know, you remember I said to you, I was so I'm so tired. Uh, I wasn't filming videos because now you can see I'm getting tired. So just consider yourself lucky. Otherwise, this is the quality of videos you would be seeing, but from beginning to end. Okay. So let's let's get through this video. Some fabric glue. We nearly there. We we almost there. We like eighty percent there. So bear with me. I'm gonna stop talking. That's better. Just add that thing. I think we said this next, eh? Can add this next. Let's take this glue. I've got all the different types of glue here. Let's add this glue here. Yeah, so this is from a pie box, in case you're wondering. Um, you know, I'm not eating pies anymore. Not. Okay, so those boxes are not going to be, not going to come up anymore. And then this one here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're wasting my time now. How many of you? Come on. I want you to put it in the comments okay I want you to put it in the comments and be very honest how many of you speak to your crafting supplies how many of you do that because <laughs> now you know that I do so it's no secret I do how many of you could speak to your crafting supplies I'd love to know the answer to that question please pop it in the comments below uh, how many of you speak to your crafting supplies and berate them and scold them uh, and tell them how much you love them as well? I'd love to know the answer to that question. And so now that that's done, let's add this here to it. Okay, so... I'm sure I am not the only one. I'll be surprised if I am the only one. I honestly will. Right, that's done. So now we're just going to add something on this side here. And we can call it finished. Alright, so remember this. If you didn't see this before and you're wondering what it is, then please go and look at my, uh, I think my very, uh, 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 my video before this where I show you how to make a toilet roll ephemera holder so this is this is toilet gel cause and I made an ephemera holder on it and I took you through the entire process from beginning to end of how I actually do it um, so yeah go and have a look I'm gonna add that thing maybe we're gonna add another pumpkin here do I have a yellow one rather? Yeah, let's add this one. No, maybe that's too big. I'm going to add that one there. And I'm going to add another. Mm, my pumpkins are running out. Okay, I'm going to add a flower of leaf. Here, so I think maybe I'm going to add... Uh, 
this leaf here. Wait, I cut some out with my silhouette. And I'm going to use it. Yeah, like that. Right, but before I use it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Now, this leaf looks a little bland on its own, right? In the color, I'm not thrilled with. You saw that I actually stamped. I actually put some distressing on it. And then I'm just going to add some a little script to it. Because I think it just looks a bit better when you add the script to it. Then it's not a plain green background or whatever. I'm just going to add this to it now. Just to give it some color and, and stuff like that. So there we go. We're going to add that. And then it's nearly ready. Nearly ready. Let's just add this to it. Um, yep. So if you like this kind of content. And uh, you enjoyed watching this video. And it inspired you in some way or the other. Um, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and um, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, subscribe if you haven't as yet subscribed. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, me uh, rambling around on this video, seeing the real human side of crafting and uh, listening to me. Let's just add that there and stuff like that. And let me know if you speak to your crafting supplies. I'm very interested to know. I'm not the only one that does that. Okay, so let's add that there like that. And let's... <laughs> I wanted to pull this one out. Let's add that there. Okay, so let's add some glue firstly. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, am I special? Because I speak to my crafting supplies, or are all of us special? You know when I mean special, right? <laughs> Great, done, done. Now that's stuck now. I can't move it. I can't move it. Right, we're done now. Let's just add in the rest of our stuff. So I'm not going to add anything in here as yet in this envelope here. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to show you. This envelope, it can go right down, meaning it can go right down. Or you can glue this flap, the inside flap, in so that your, 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 your envelope can stop at a particular point. Okay, like that. So, so if you want to, you can glue the inside of the flap down, this flap here, so that your 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 your, your paper doesn't go past that. But yeah, I probably will if it's giving me an issue right now. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know whether I want something to go fully in, meaning fully in until it meets this part here, or I want it to just go fully in until it meets that part. So I'm not sure. Uh, what I want, so I'm leaving it blank. But it is this part here, this part inside that you would glue up if you want to. Okay, so I, I think what I want to do is I want to make it a double, meaning that I want to put something right there for it to go up until there, and then I want to put something in here just so that it will go up until here. So I'm not going to glue mine, but you can. So that's done. Uh, now, let's just add all our pretties to it to see the final results. Uh, I think this, I can think, might go in here like that. So, everything you see is from the kit. Uh, I have nothing that is, except one or two things that really is just out there. Um, like die cuts and stuff like that, but it's not in the kit. 
uh, this is here. You can also have choose to have two over here, meaning in the front gusset and the back. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether I want that or not. Oh, uh, that is why I have left it open. Now I know this goes in here, so why is it not going in there right now? Let's try it again. Oh, really? There we go. No, not there. Here we go. Guys, really? There. I know I didn't glue it that much, so why is it giving me such an issue? Oh, oh, oh. Looks like it's this year. I think the glue. Oh, it's this year. It is the, the two sided tape that got caught on the gusset over here. So I'm just pulling it out. Two sided tape stuck. Yeah, you know what happened to the two sided tape, guys? The side was a bit long and I didn't cut it off. Yeah. So it got, it got stuck on it. My mistake. I knew I I knew that it wasn't because this was too big for it. And I hope I didn't do the same thing on that side. Let's see before. No, this side is fine because I remember when I did do the two sided tape on the on the acetate that some of it was sticking out and I should have trimmed it down which I didn't. So just be ready that now my two sided tape is lying properly. Yeah, it's lying properly there. So that goes in there like that, but I wanna pull it out a bit. Real mistakes, real life mistakes. They like that. And then on this side, I want to add this one to it here. Like that. How cool. It is a bit thick, I must admit. Okay. But then you can, can compensate for that by uh, making other ephemera thinner. So let's say, for example, if this was my journal and I have to put it in, forgive my table, it's becoming messy now. And let's say I wanted it uh, here. Okay. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to this, like this. And when I'm ready to sew my signatures in, it's going to go in like that. And then it's going to look like this. I don't think I'll add it to this page here because it clashes too much with that. So I'll probably maybe add it to a blank page like this or something like that. Then it doesn't clash too much with that page there. And I'll probably stencil that page. So here we go. Pocket pocket with a tag envelope where you can put in another tag to go to the bottom and another um, little message there you can journal here if you like journaling card there and if you flip it over a nice big journaling card on this side here and a pocket with a nice big journaling card on that side or tag on that side like that I hope you enjoyed this project and as I mentioned if you enjoyed this and you would like to see more videos like this then do consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already subscribed and also uh, do post a comment um, and a like if you did like it okay and um, because it really helps me to get noticed uh, it pushes my videos up to the top I used to always wonder why YouTubers say that uh, please comment or whatever 
and that's the reason why it pushes your video to the top your likes and your comments pushes videos to the top so it can be viewed more often just a little bit of information there a hundred percent correct i am not sure but i've heard that that, that is the case and then also do tell me, do you talk to you? Do you speak to your crafting supplies? I'd love to know the answer to that question. Take care, everybody. Have a blessed week. And as I mentioned, I might be low on videos going into next week, simply because I'm not going to be able to have the facility to uh, film any YouTube videos. Lots of love from me at Sunny Creates. Bye-bye.